Good morning everyone and welcome back to another daily vlog. I'm currently sat outside of room two, the room I've never been inside of. And in my hand, I have a key, which I believe fits the door. This key was in the keyhole of the door behind me. And I think at some point the keys were accidentally switched. So let's see if the key fits. There's nothing here. How anticlimactic was that? I was at least expecting something in here, but no, it is the most basic room out of all of the rooms. <laughs> ah, typical. Never mind. At least we know what's in here now. How's it going? Good, I've just, um, just uploaded the video. Wow. After so many months. It's a miracle. Yeah, it's a miracle, but uh, although I haven't released any videos, I have actually still been filming. So I've got like three months worth of videos, like eight hours of footage. Well, edit them and put them so on this YouTube. So the first one going out. So actually, though, no, it's good because you can see more progress happening in, over a short, you know, in one video now. So the video is gonna be the installation of the staircase. Oh wow, that's really exciting. Which is, I've been waiting a whole year to actually get it made. The staircase is a big deal, I must admit. Yeah, so in the video you'll see it, um, you'll see it installed, and, um, and then I'll talk about what else needs to be done to finish the kitchen, so. Brilliant, I'm really excited for that. So yeah, I'll upload mine the same, just, just after yours. Okay. So, there you go, I don't want to do it at the same time. I might take all your viewers. No, <laughs> no chance of that. Um, yeah, so if you want to go and watch Michael's video, he's putting a video out tonight. I will put a card somewhere on the top corner of the screen. There, somewhere. Yeah, channels, if you don't know who I am, just doing it ourselves. Yeah. Doing it ourselves. Well, doing it himself. Doing it, yeah. Yeah. Doing it somewhere. Doing else. himself. <laughs> You've heard it from the horse's mouth. Michael is putting a video out. Michael's videos are fantastic to watch. Very, very engaging. So I'll put a link in the description here and a little tag here somewhere. So check him out. Today, we decided to just get on with the work. I didn't film too much because it gets a little bit tedious to watch and it gets incredibly tedious to film sometimes. I've got a few more things to do tomorrow and then we can start the kitchen. So I'm really excited about that. It's almost the end of the video, but I thought I would sit here after work with a drink and answer a few of your comments. So let's start with the first one. Martha Evans, during the World War II era, was the convent taken over by Germans or did it stay in the hands of the nuns? I believe 
the nuns remained at the convent during the Second World War and a hundred beds were made available. I'm not sure in what part, either the convent or the hospice itself, and they cared for the wounded soldiers. Next question by Kathy K. Did the nunnery die out? They got too old and no young ones joined. That's what's happening in the States. While some orders are fine, others are dying out. So what I think happened is, essentially the nuns were aging and I think what they did is they sold the farm behind and used that money to transform the convent sort of into a retirement home for the nuns who were remaining. Um, that's why you see a lot of the interiors as they are, very clinical looking, like an old hospital almost, even though it wasn't a hospital, the hospital was actually next door. So yeah, an interesting question, thank you. Next question by Dottie Ditto. What do the rooms and cell cellars smell like? Um, like a hospital. Next question is from Hello Denise. It is a confessional for a priest to hear confessions from nuns, question mark. Um, there is a confessional. I don't know what it was used for, if it was for public use or if it was just for the nuns themselves. I don't know. Next question is by Set Set. Maternity hospital comes to mind. Locking up women and taking their babies wouldn't surprise me. The convent was a private community. You had to be a nun to live there. They didn't take babies, I can assure you. It wasn't one of those sort of convents in Ireland that you hear about or in Canada. Um, they ran a hospital next door, which was public. Um, yeah, it was a private community where the sisters all lived together. Next question by Ian Walsh. Can you not get a digger in to clear the garden, Billy? Unfortunately, there is no access to the garden from the outside, apart from through the convent itself. And the digger certainly wouldn't fit through the convent. Um, we need to put in planning permission from one of the rear car parks to access the garden. So I'd have to essentially knock the wall down, well, a section of it, and put some columns using granite and put beautiful cast iron gates. And that would be the only way, I think. It's just started raining now. Thank you to everyone for watching today's video. I'll try and answer a few more questions in the future videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.